Well, your microphone. So it's like, <laughs> like, are we going to be able to hear the game? I, t I actually turned the volume really, really low because, um... Uh, one minute. The Legend of Zelda! <laughs> Come on, that's epic, is it not? Da, 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 da. A Link to the Past! That's the game I'm gonna play. It's gonna be a long game, but I should enjoy it. I'm a bad layer assist. I don't fucking care. Anyway. Anyways, um, to give a bit of background about, um,. I told Ellie this. I should share this to you. Uh, when I, um, I like several months ago, I streamed uh, Kirby's Dreamland, and I uploaded an episode of it on my uh, stream channel on YouTube. And as of recently, Nintendo started claiming um, the music. Yeah, Nintendo's been getting kind of eh about that. Yeah, because here's the thing: when I streamed uh, Super Mario World, I um, Immediately, I got a copyright claim because, oh, you're using the footage. And I said, it's a let's play. I'm commentating and everything. And I was able to, you know, beat it with no problem. But now they make a music claim on Kirby's Dreamland, and I can't fight that. So they're trying to work things around just so that, you know, it's pretty sneaky of them. It's pretty mm -hmm. cold and low. Like, they, like, they're trying to play games around. So just to avoid that, I turned the volume dramatically low. That's fair. Yeah. Complete douchebags. Well, then I bet you that this will have, like, a copyright claim, and I'll have to file against that. Yeah, the, the, like, they'll come up with some really nitpicky thing, like, oh, the, this this one tiny pixel was, like, it's not great. Things probably may have changed, Birch. I think that's the other thing. Um, but you never know. And there's Zelda. Okay, long story short, an evil guy is about to take over, and I had to fight. Oh, so, no. so anyway, yeah, um, I'm streaming The Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, and um, this has been my favorite entry in all of the um, Zelda games. And it's not, mind you, it's not because it's part of the Super NES library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no bias here. Um, I found out about this game when it was ported to the GBA. Enigma, our prince, thank you for following. Help me! Please help me! I'm a prisoner in the dungeon! Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Zelda's captured. Hmm. Everyone knows the story. But, um... This was the first game that actually engaged me a lot more compared to, like, other installments that I was playing, like Oracle of Seasons and, um, a little bit of Wake of, um, Link's Awakening. Mm-hmm. Um... Um, I hear you, Steve. I hear you, Steven. I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to, like, collect my thoughts. Losing my train of thought because there's so much shit happening at once. <laughs> running around in circles. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, I discovered this game through the GBA, and then I found out that this was also a port to the Super Nintendo, which... To me, it wasn't surprising at all, because it seems like every console that Nintendo makes has to have a Zelda game. Like, no matter what. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, based on the graphics, I was able to piece together, like, this had to be something for the Super Nintendo. I could only imagine what it would be like. So, that's how I discovered this game. Um, and it was my favorite entry because it was very guideful. It was uh, very hopeful in where I was supposed to go. Whereas in other games, I got stuck, and I really can't stand it when a game gets uh, cryptic. So... I've loved this game ever since then. I really loved playing it. And there's the dead uncle. He had an uncle. <laughs> you never knew him. He dies. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I've always loved playing this game the most, even more than Ocarina of Time. Um, so, I figured that, you know, when streaming this game, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Meanwhile, um... You bastard, get over here. Get over here. Damn it, I missed. Um, I got a, um, I got a donation going on to help, um, Mim Kage, who is going through a couple of, uh, college loans, and she's very, very close, and I decided to create a donation goal to help out, um, what sound? 
What sound are they talking about? I don't know what's going on. No, I'm just reading the chat, and they're asking, uh, "What's the, where's the sound?" Oh, where's the sound? Um, to reelaborate, uh, Vaporeon Everfree, I've lowered the volume, if not muted uh, the gameplay because I gotta sneeze. <coughs> 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 Ugh, I don't know what the hell is going on with that. Um, but to give context, uh, it's because I'm trying to avoid any copyright claims from uh, Nintendo. Because they, they're they trying to find uh, ways around to make copyright claims. Uh, one of which was when I did uh, Kirby's Dream Land on the Game Boy. And um, they uh, claimed uh, with the music. And I can't fight on that one. Yeah. I know, I'm kind of, like, repeating uh, my explanation, because some people are like, wait, where's the sound? I had to explain that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm helping out uh, Mimi uh, reach her college loans. Um, and that's something I thought I'd do for her instead of just doing something for me all the time. Uh, I, can't, I can't look at it at the moment. <laughs> He's busy stabbing guards in the back. Yeah, guards that are, like, possessed by evil. See, this is this is one of the major things I loved about this game. You, you were like when it came to other installments, you were like introduced with a character, and then something happens here. You have no idea what's going on. You just hear like you hear a call for help, and then you go out into a rainstorm. It's like what the hell? And then you're in a giant castle, and it's like shit. I don't feel prepared. What the hell am I supposed to do? But I'm just curious, and I'm just like oh shit. Okay, so I had to do this, and I had to do that. Like it, like. I wouldn't say that it doesn't hold your hand, but it definitely just gets right to the point. It's, like, straightforward. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it doesn't treat you like an idiot. Which, <laughs> which you, sometimes, for games around this era, a little rare. Yeah, there's a whole, like, increase in the whole, yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Um, <laughs> I, literally, I literally watched that video, like, yesterday on the way to work that's 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 pretty possibly like ego raptor's best video and then oh, there's sure. yeah and then there's the zelda one which a lot of people gave him so much flack for yeah you know what i kind of am with him on the ocarina of time thing because like it has a pacing issue and um <clears throat> yeah like, i to, i to be fair go ahead oh i was just gonna say like to be fair i didn't grow up with uh, Ocarina of Time. Like, the first Zelda game I played was uh, uh, Oracle of Seasons, I want to say? One of the Oracles. That was the but, first like, game the first... I owned. Yeah, go ahead. Huh. But, like, the first big, like, console Zelda game that I owned was Wind Waker. I've heard, was... so... I heard so much about it. I've been meaning to play more of that game. I played very little of it and haven't had much of a chance. Wind Waker is the tits. It is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's great. Um, I really like. I remember back then when I saw like when the game was out, a lot of people complained about the art style looking too kiddish when they're so accustomed to the dark like tones yeah, of. This, this yeah, is coming like right off the heels of Majora's Mask. So we yeah were, we were used to like dark, edgy. Ugh. Yeah, and then and it's like, what's then... with this cartoon shit? <laughs> But uh, in hindsight, I look back at it and I'm like, you know, this is a very cute art style. And it's, yeah, it, it, it holds up. Yeah. The unfortunate, that's really the unfortunate result of what happened with the GameCube is that they were aiming a lot more for motivate, um, for innovation, which on the surface and on paper, of course, it sounds good because it's something fresh and new. But mm -hmm. okay, you've seen um, MatPat or the, the Game Theorist? Yeah, and he talked about, um, he stated at one point that we are at fault for why uh, the gaming market and the uh, companies are having a, a tr um, hard time trying to find something appealing to the masses. That seems fair, because it's like, we, fans are fickle. Like, it's, they are. it's kind of messed up to say, but like, we will get on board with something and then jump off the bandwagon just like that. Yeah. Um, let's see. But yeah, no, um, 
Wind Waker was one of those games that became the example of like why the uh, GameCube suffered because it wasn't the the kind of franchise we were familiar with. A similar effect with um, Super Mario with uh, Super Mario Sunshine, and mm-hmm. um, again, you know, like I used to be like I used to be upset that they went for this water pack thing because I thought that okay, so with Mario sixty four, you go inside the castle and you go through different realms. Why not have that kind of game engine but outside of the Mushroom Kingdom, like? Take on actual, like, you know, enemies like Goombas and Koopa Chupas, Like, grab a shell and in a 3D environment, you can throw it around and bounce it everywhere like a pinball. <laughs> uh, but that wasn't the case. They instead went for a completely different route. To me, I think the problem that Nintendo did with the GameCube is... Not only that, there's also the... Uh, mind you, the, uh, there was also the marketing where it made it look like it was a kid's toy. And one of the first uh, colors that they were marketing the most was color purple. Compare that to other consoles that were colored black or gray. Yeah. Yeah. GameCube, the base GameCube was purple, and the base PS2 and Xbox, or original Xbox, were both uh, black. So. Yeah, and they, they they had a much more adult color, so it yeah. kind of made it look like it was a kiddie's toy, and that was the first uh, misleading um, approach. The second of which, while I do appreciate that they were aiming for innovation, I think they aimed for it a little too early. Because mm-hmm. I think there were other things or other ideas to flesh out to adapt into a 3D environment. That's really just my opinion, and I'm not going to say that they're bad games because, in hindsight, oh, no. yeah, no, in hindsight, the uh, GameCube library surprisingly holds up very well, according to a lot of the masses. Like they say, dude, the GameCube was so underrated; it got so much shit back then. Yeah, like a, a lot of the games that were like that turned into stars on the uh, GameCube were a lot of cult hits like ones that weren't popular or weren't as popular when they came out but you go ahead like five years and all of a sudden they're like classics like mario sunshine melee luigi's mansion kirby fuck Air Ride, yes i love melee oh uh, paper mario thousand year door like there's so many really great games but at the time we Po- yeah, Poketuber Noob says uh, Pokemon on the GameCube. Like, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness is one of the most underrated games ever. It's so much fun. Oh, I've heard so much about Internal Darkness. I have wait, to... Wait, Gale of Darkness or Eternal Darkness? Oh, sorry, I meant Eternal Darkness. Oh, Sanity's Rec... Yeah, that's another one. Like, I want, I want the main character from that game to be in the next Smash. I know it's never gonna happen, but, like, Alex Roivas in Smash would be so good. I still have yet to catch up on all the Smash Brothers games. The latest that I caught up to was uh, Brawl. And I saw that Pac-Man um, and Mega Man were added to the next installment. But because I never owned the Wii U, I didn't really have much of an experience with that game. Um, I am aware... Like... Yeah, I am aware that there's another installment coming out for the Switch. Which I uh, still have yet to get. Personally, I want to try to collect like all of the uh, N- uh, Nintendo games. So that way I can, like, experience, like, the different forms. Like, I currently have the Wii and a lot of its previous um, predecessors, the SNES, NES, and so forth. And I have the Game Boy and pretty much all of the consoles, except for the Game Boy Color, which I have to, um, it kind of broke at one point. Um, but yeah, no, um, the GameCube's library, it's definitely, like... It's one of those uh, surprise uh, consoles that, over the years, it held up very well. Mm-hmm. Oh, F-Zero. Yes, that was another good one. I played very little of um, F-Zero on the GameCube. I mostly remember playing one on the SNES, which, Enigma Prince, that's also my favorite console, the Super Nintendo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mine probably be the GameCube. Yeah, but, no, uh, yeah, but, um... Yeah, no, F-Zero, I played very little of, so I can't really say too much about it. Um, what other games were after the GameCube? I currently have a copy of Fire Emblem, uh, Path of Radiance, the one with Ike. Uh, Pikmin. Pikmin was on GameCube. Yeah, I haven't played Pikmin either. I almost forgot about Pikmin. Pikmin, was... Pikmin 1 was alright, but Pikmin 2 was pretty good. Like, really good. Uh, it's always the sequels. <laughs> Star Fox... Yeah. Star Fox Assault. Yeah, Assault was good. Adventures was. Personally, with Assault, I liked that you had um, the flying games, but then there's uh, the option of um, getting off of your uh, cockpit and doing a bunch of other things. And I don't know. I felt too disconnected on that one. 
Yeah, like, I, I remember, like, it's been a while since I played Assault, but, like, I remember, like, when you have the gun in your hand, like, it just swings around so rapidly, like, it's kind of hard to control. Like, the R-Wing's fun to use, and the Landmaster's kind of fun to use. Oh, I guess the Mabroni has a really good point. My favorite thing about the GameCube is actually the controller. The controller was beautifully designed. Yes, like, it, 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 it had so many curves and it fit well into your hand. Yeah. And like, and it had the wave bird. Like, that, like, the wave bird was, like, the first good wireless controller. Like, that was, yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, actually, Brown um. Queen, Brown Eyed Queen, anyone hyped for Spyro? Oh, my God. <laughs> I've seen the artwork. Uh, it's a direct remake of the PlayStation, right? Yeah, it's it's the same thing as what's going on with uh, Crash uh, Insanity. Are Insane they coming trilogy. up for Steam, or is it just only for PlayStation? For now, I'm thinking it's only PS4, but, like, so Crash is getting a port to the Switch, the Xbox One, and Steam. So I'd be willing to bet that by early 2019, mm -hmm. uh, the same thing will happen for the Spyro uh, Reignited. Yeah, because I do recall, like, there were some Spyro games uh, that was available on Steam, but there are so many different installments. Um, I've been meaning to try um, Spyro before, but I grew up with Nintendo consoles, so I didn't really have much access to it. Um, I, yeah, I'm ever so slightly biased, but, like, my literal YouTube icon has always been Spyro, but... Yeah, because it's totally not biased, right? <laughs> yeah. Perish the thought. <laughs> but yeah, I really freaking like the first three Spyros, especially two. Like, I've, I've said before, Ripto's Rage is damn near perfect. Hmm, all right. Uh, let's see here. I did have, I did as have Spyro profile pic. Yeah, yeah. Like I, there's this a uh, picture that this artist named uh, Jazaboo made, and like, okay, so she did this thing a while back where uh, during the month of December, I think it was, like she would have 30 days of obligatory ice level day, and she would do artwork of all these famous ice levels, and one of, and she'd do it every year. So there's like, oh, you mean like Ice Cap Zone? Yeah, yeah, like death topics. And um, one of them was of one of the levels from Spyro 3. I want to say Frozen Altars, but uh, yeah. And it, it, it just is this cool little picture of Spyro like flying through this icy level. And I've been using that as my uh, icon basically ever since I started my channel. Back here. On the EV. What about what about Sly Cooper? Sly Cooper. Um, again, like I haven't played that, and I haven't played. Um, there was another furry-based um, 3D platformer that I haven't tried Ratchet yet. Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Again, yeah, like as, as far as I'm concerned about uh, kitty-based games, and I'm saying that loosely, um, I. Um, I was mostly reliable on Nintendo consoles. Games that were for the PlayStation, it was a rarity for me. So, yeah, I, I played a lot of. Uh, I played the first three Sly Coopers. I never played four, which I heard is really good, surprisingly. But yeah, like Sly Cooper is a lot more stealth based than like Ratchet and Clank is just kind of one of those games where you just go in guns blazing and blow shit up. Can I cuss? Yes, you can. Okay, just making sure. But yeah, you just kind of go around, blow everything up, and with all these rad weapons, and it's super fun. And Sly's a lot more sneaky, but they're, yeah. they both have their place, and they're both pretty darn good. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can cuss all you want. Um, in case it wasn't obvious, I do have a filthy fucking mouth. Coolaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this uh, shit up uh, now. Ah! Kurt, go Kurt. ahead. Sage 95, Custom Robo or Rayman Legends? You ever play Custom Robo? No, I, I don't even know what Custom Robo is. I'll probably know it if I've seen it. I, I want to say, like, 
Okay, hands on the table. I don't know what that game is either. I want to <laughs> say it's a Gundam type thing, but um, but yeah. Oh, uh, are you excited for the Spyro game? Because I was like, when we were talking about it, I was mostly just rambling. I but are you excited? Am I excited? I'm kind of like yes and no. Like I want to try the game out when I like am capable of getting my hands on it. I currently don't have a PS4, and I don't know if whether or not if it's only exclusive for the PS4 or if it'll be ported to uh, Steam. Because if it's ported to Steam, then yeah, that's a good opportunity me uh, to try the game out. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Landmine, landmine. Okay. But yeah, I, like I said, I like it's probably not going to be. Um, it's probably not going to come out for Steam right away, but it probably will a little down the road. I'm I, I'm gonna have my fingers crossed on that one, so. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. What is it that he is playing? Uh, right Zelda, now? yeah, Zelda: A Link to the Past. Ah! Yes. Damn it! Ah! Oh God! Jesus! All of a sudden, I just got ambushed by a bunch of guards. Christ! Oh, oh there they are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching it on the stream. There's just a tiny bit of a delay for me, but. Yeah, yeah that happens. Um. I heard that it was on purpose because some people would game stream or uh, look at others in like, let's say some kind of a, some kind of a two-player uh, competition, mm -hmm. and uh, they would like use it to their advantage over something that what they're not allowed to see. Yeah. That wasn't me. Who was that? What the dick? <laughs> oh, look who decided to join. We have ourselves a white little alicorn. I'm not little. I'm fun sized. <laughs> <laughs> Could you play it? It looks dumb. No, I'm oh, it's Zelda. Yep. It's like, get him now while supplies last. The lightning blitz stalls at fun size. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> You saw that coming. Yeah, you saw. I walked, yeah, I walked into that. Okay, okay. I walked into it. Okay, I bow before the golden box. Bleh. Yes, hello, people in the chat. I have not been in a stream in forever. What is up? I am doing some Zelda, and I'm um, setting up a donation campaign to help out Mimi and uh, her college loans. Mimi! Yes, I should donate. Oh, wait, I did donate. Shit. Wait, when did but you donate? Well, I didn't donate to the stream, but I've donated for, like, other Oh, for, okay. Yeah. That's fine. I can't donate too much in one month, you know, because... We got to... Yeah, we got to do, like, take care of our other priorities, so... Any yeah. buck, uh, you know, any dollar, you know, matters, so... Ah! Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> this is something I'm going to have to be aware of, because um, sometimes <laughs> I'll get quartered by those stupid knights, and it's like I'm in a really bad spot. I'm like, ah, get the fuck off me! <laughs> Hey, hey, like go, hey, go. Yeah, what's fight, up? Fight that chicken. Fight that chicken. Oh my god, are you serious? Fight that chicken. Alright, chat, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Do you want me to get ambushed by a shit ton of cuckoos? Fight the chicken. Uh, <laughs> Don't fight the chicken. Don't fight the chicken. Don't fight the chicken. Don't fight the chicken. Don't fight, Don't fight the, the chicken. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> like I, <a> nerd. <laughs> okay, so voice says don't. <laughs> Think he's like, just do it, whip. <laughs> <laughs> I love how everybody's <laughs> reacting like, no, don't do it. No, yes, fight, fight it. Chat no, overruled. Coward. Chat overruled. Uh, <laughs> if you left your fans, you listen to the chat. I'm just laying against it. <laughs> what, somebody, I love, okay, guys, guys. Hey, guys, 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 look at what Crusader said. <laughs> or Cursa Dagger. Hold on. Time. Time to beat the cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is not safe for bliss. <laughs> Everybody's like, no, don't do it. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to. No, 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 no. If you respect your fans, you will do it. You won't. <laughs> oh, you I can be a rebellious not... shithead. Wow, he does not love you, fans. Uh... I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Blissy, you don't know what's going to happen, do you? Hold on. No, no I but... don't, actually. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, Bliss. <laughs> If you go and you attack one of those chickens and you attack him enough, 
they will start to ambush and attack you. It, it it becomes a horror story. It became a thing with Zelda. It became a lot more apparent in Ocarina of Time because you get a little cutscene where that little chicken is going, you know, calling out for help, and a shit What's ton comes right in. A guy getting attacked by a lovely bunch of chicks. Um, they can peck you to death. <laughs> you missed my joke. You missed my joke. <laughs> <laughs> totally I, got, I got the joke. Nikki got the joke. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, I, apparently I started to slash at that thing and nothing happened. It's glitched. It's stuck Aww. in a tree. Yeah. Tree. Yeah, oh and, and by the way, not just one, like 40 chickens will just spawn out of nowhere and just like peck you to death. <laughs> peck, <laughs> peck, 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 peck. <laughs> uh, so funny. <laughs> Yeah, I never played any Zelda games. I, I never grew up with them. I've been kind of like up and down with Zelda games. Like, I was first introduced to Zelda with Ocarina of Time. Didn't play it as much as my brother did, but I loved watching him play the game to the point where I know pretty much every dungeon and what to do. Um, Hero of Time, slain by Cox. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the heck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he was speaking Spanish to me. I asked him. I, don't, I told him I don't speak Spanish. Could you speak English, please? <laughs> <laughs> a rough, that was a rough way of me saying it, but yeah. Wait, Nightfall, did you not notice that sometimes when I laugh my ass off, I snort? Yeah, you do <laughs> snort. It's adorable. <laughs> It's doing a lot. It's it's really the silly things in life that people find uh, cute. I know it's weird. <laughs> it's weird, but I guess there's a reason for it. I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out in Goldilocks's stream. Are you um, tweeting? Get out. Yeah, I'm tweeting. Oh, tweet, okay, tweet. sweet. Nom nom. No, 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 no
<laughs> well, if you got somebody who was a fucking sergeant in a full metal jacket, I don't think I should be surprised. <laughs> well, the, 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 he played a crazy ass sergeant. This guy would mess you up and give you like the psycho eye. It's like, dude, I didn't do anything to you. What are you? What are you doing? Oh my god, that was my arm! Why did you do that? Again, I am not surprised. What a, what a tarnation you're trying to do to my beloved core! Sir, I don't know, sir! You may be dumb, Private, but do you expect me to believe you can't tell from left and right? <laughs> yeah, he fucking... Oh, yeah, he's... And the water, he was the water mask from uh, Wrath of Cortex. Huh. I, I remember that from the ridiculous video. <laughs> I got too excited. Now I'm coughing. Thanks a lot. It's all your fault. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst. But yeah, like... Like, they did a thing... Like, Caddy did a thing where he... And he, nothing's uh, happening. Put, where he put the voice of, um... What's it? Of the drill sergeant over the water mask. And he's just like, I will gouge out your eyes and sculpt you! And just like... Wait, did he actually say that in that movie? Or was it, uh... Yes. I know that he said that in Full Metal Jacket. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, in Full Metal Jacket. Like, what I was saying was... Oh, yeah. He took out the... The audio from Full Metal Jacket and put it over the the crash mask guy. <laughs> you have two new friend requests. From don't um... know you. Don't know you. <laughs> there are people I do not know. <laughs> oh shit! I don't people, have enough rupees. If I don't know you, I'm not adding you as a friend. That's just how I am, cause you're a stranger. Stranger danger. Make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, thank you for the donation, Bucky Butter. I appreciate that. All right. Yeah, you let's. Are a good person. Money's for the goat. All right. Good luck with the game. Also, hope everyone is doing well and that your interview w went it, well for you. Yeah, nothing is going on whenever I attack the cuckoo, so. Yeah. Dang it. I wanted to see you get annihilated by chickens. Is I, that so wrong? That you know, it, yeah, because it's as 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 homicidal as it is, it's also hilarious at the same time. Yeah. This guy's running away. Oh shit. Oh well, props for trying. I guess we'll just have to enjoy some chicken murder just as it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're horrible. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty anticlimactic, just like slashing the cuckoos just to see, you know, that ginormous, like, attack. Maybe it's just one cuckoo specifically, I don't know. <coughs> I, yeah, I, 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 was... I, I, I know no. I know nothing. Well, I, the last time I saw it was when the Game Grumps played this game, and <laughs> it was, yeah, it was a long <laughs> time ago. Somebody's asking, Golden, may I post something? For the fun size alcorn, it's a comic with Thunderbite. Sure. <laughs> Nikki V That's confirmed his current nice standing. Nice save on oh, the sorry. fun size reference. <laughs> I've already done it one, once enough. I don't need to abuse it. <laughs> oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, you have the weakest sword, so it's like... Puny sword only kills chickens. Come here, you stupid little <laughs> chicken. No, it doesn't even kill chickens. <laughs> that boy's sitting there like, hey, leave my chickens alone. It's like, no, I'm going to do it as much as I want. I actually hate chickens. I only like them when they're on my plate. And <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah, just enjoy having... So basically, you enjoy having silver quill. Oh. He's not a chicken. Ah! Oh, God! Ah! Oh, shit! It slowed oh. the game down! Ah! Guys, it's, it's Alfred guys, guys, hang on a second. I attacked a cuckoo in Zelda, or a uh, chicken. And you got it's yeah, I got bombarded. <laughs> Repent, but the chickens are near. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dang it! Like, dang it! You escaped them. Okay, okay, I got it. I got a pun. I got a pun for you. Oh God, what? <laughs> you, you. You slash the chickens, they're gonna attack you with force. They don't give a fuck. No, no, no I'm sorry. They don't give a clock. 
Okay, that's even worse. <laughs> Christ. You I'm gonna be over it. here crying. Now. You love me. You love me very much. <laughs> It's the Clu it's the Klux Cluck! <laughs> oh okay. my god! Get out of my house. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I, I, that was pretty bad. That's awful. That was, I know, it was pretty uh, bad. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, someone donated five bucks. Yeah, um, thank I you for donating. I'm entertaining for the sake of the goat. Bah! <laughs> I was never hired! <laughs> Watch, I'm willing- How much are you willing to bet that Solar is gonna join in the call and be like, You're doing Zelda without me? You must die! Like, yes. You must die. I mean, he'll fucking quote a lot of shit. So what do you want? So what do you want? Yeah! Okay, that's what anime on everybody. <laughs> Fuck Wait. you! Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> oh shit! I gotta talk to the people of the uh, village. <sighs> Nani, you mean? Aww. Are you talking about the fucking fairy? The hey! Listen! 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 <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> no, I did the oh my little mu shindiro thing. Ah, okay. Hang on. What does this see what this person has to say? Hey, here is Golden, the wanted man. Soldiers, anyone can cook. You fucking bitch! Are you kidding me right now? Wait, what? Well, oh, hey, no, Aramau's there was in the chat. Hello. Hey, Hi. Aramau. No, like I, I just talked to a random citizen, and she's like, "Help! Like is coming after me!" I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because he just saw you murdering her chickens. <laughs> Did they Damn, not see? The clock. <laughs> Did they not see me get fucking ambushed and bombarded by a group of fucking chickens that can be roasted into KFC? They really clucked you up. <laughs> oh my. That's God. too. That's a. Tr that's that's too. No, that's a try too hard. Okay, that is a try too hard. No, 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 no. Go on, exit. Chicken. This person goes running away. Oh, Golden, rumors say you kidnapped the princess, but I still trust you. So that's why that other bitch called me oh, out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. What yeah, a Steven fucking goat. Uh, Link is on wanted posters because they're mind controlled. Yeah, okay, what a yeah, fucking right. cunt bag. Hi, Golden <laughs> Elder. Are you talking about the grandpa? Okay, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. He's hiding in the palace, past the castle. I will mark here on your spot. See, hmm. the game is guideful. Um, so in case... <laughs> 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 yes, RML, I snort when I laugh. Ari, ki uh, Ari she... kissed me on the head when I was at BabsCon. Golden was I was on a Ari chicken did. run. Network. You know, oh. Enigma, I personally, I think that was a pretty good pun because I actually like chicken run. I hate yeah. chicken run. Oh, you do? Oh. I do. I hate it with a passion. It is one of the worst 3D cl cluster clocks I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> Bliss. 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 <laughs> that Bliss. That was Chicken Little. Oh, Chicken Little. My bad. Chicken Run is the yeah. claymated movie by the people who made um uh Wallace and Gromit Wallace and has Mel Gibson. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my bad. <laughs> My chicken bad. run, yeah, I didn't, okay. yeah. Right, chicken Little is god awful. Oh no, yes. like that's an understatement. Like that is my most hated movie because I could go on a tirade here, but long story short, the movie looks awful, and dear God, it ruined the Disney canon. Like, ugh, mm -hmm. it, it was it like it doesn't even look like a Disney movie. It looks like it was made on low budget by DreamWorks. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It's yeah. absolute don't, dog don't shit. Don't worry, we're not disrespecting Aardman. We're yeah, no, Aardman, I have full respect for. Who saw the uh, Sheep movie? The, the what? Oh, uh, the Sam the Sheep? Yeah, in the, sh um, uh, the Sheep in the City. Or Sean the Sheep. Sean the Sheep, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw a little bit of it. It was pretty good. Yeah, no, I like I loved it because like it's one of those movies that have like no dialogue, and I just love that it illustrates that um, you don't need to have dialogue to make it an entertaining movie. 
it's definitely a movie that I would recommend. Sir, that's offensive towards DreamWorks. Okay, with DreamWorks, they have beautiful movies. Like, like obviously, like, everybody knows about Shrek, but you also have The Prince of fucking Egypt. Oh, dude. Yeah. Okay, we started on Prince of Egypt. It sounded like you orgasmed a little right there. I may have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> Uh, Island of Dogs. Uh, I'm I'm actually like recommended that movie, Island of Dogs. Uh, the people who made that also made Fantastic Mr. Fox, which uh, is a movie that I respect. But at the same time, I was confused and wasn't sure what to feel because it was definitely yeah. one of those movies that like did something different. It's a weird movie. Yeah, it, it, no it, about it. Shit. Any hit I take, and I'm gonna fucking die. Ah. You know what? Hang on. There we go. All right, cool. I'm going to take a little break here and um, give a... Yeah, I'm going to take a break here for just a second. <laughs> 